Welcome everybody, this is Simon with HSC UAV. Behind me is our brand new drone. This is a 16 liter model that's going to introduce a ton of new features that will make drone spraying easier than ever. I can't wait to show you guys around it. Let's get started. So as you can see, a pretty different design from what we have from our existing uh, M6A Pro and M8A Pro. This uses a plastic uh, hard case it's very well sealed from the elements. It has a similar design for the arms as our M6E models, or smaller models, where the motor controllers are actually built into the frame. The arms, you simply push down to release them, and you simply lift them up and lock them in place to lock them. This tank is designed to be quickly removed. So these pins can be pulled out and you can drop these arms and the tank can be dropped very, very easily. Let's move on. Right in the front here, this is actually our new camera mount. So we have two very bright LED lights here for the camera and it's built into the frame here. And right up front, this is going to be the biggest change from our existing aircraft. This is one of the three, actually, radars used for obstacle avoidance. So this is the forward-looking radar. There is also one on the back side here. Right back there. And this will allow the aircraft to automatically stop if it senses an obstacle in front of it or behind it. The third radar, you may ask, is on the bottom, right there. And that is used for our terrain following system. So in addition to the terrain following, this has forward and rear obstacle avoidance. The distance in which it will stop the aircraft from an obstacle is adjustable. This is a great safety device to prevent you from having the aircraft fly into that obstacle. It will stop ahead of time and it will warn you. Now, this aircraft still comes with our R4 controller. This controller has a 20 plus hour battery runtime, great range, and a really good mount for your phone or tablet. It has a lot of adjustment on board and it even comes with this nice case. Moving on, let's show a little bit more about the aircraft. So again, this model, is now equipped with plastic blades. These plastic blades are extremely efficient. They're very, very thin, very strong, very easy to replace, and just the blades are replaced. You don't have to replace the entire hub. This drone also has navigation lights built in under each motor. Moving around here, you can see the spray setup is a little bit different than some of our other designs. This is a great design because it removes the need for having external spray booms, which are can be clumsy to transport and difficult to move around. These can be removed very easily. They're mounted on a rubber mount. So if you hit something with these, they simply move out of the way. And you still have the option of putting whatever type of nozzle you need on here. It still uses a standard type of nozzle. Let's go to the back of the drone just for a minute here. This drone has a very large fill cap, so it's very, very easy to fill. There's no need for a funnel, and it even has a built-in screen. The pumps are actually hidden behind this rubber uh, piece of rubber here. This is designed to prevent the pumps from getting dirty, preventing it from getting chemicals spilled on it. Uh, it's easily removable for service, but there's actually two brushless pumps on this model. So you have a very high output options uh, with these pumps. This aircraft is very well sealed. So it's very, very easy to keep clean. It's very easy to, uh, to, to maintain. You will have very few issues with dust getting inside the aircraft. It's essentially completely sealed there. Now here is the battery. This is gonna be one of the biggest changes uh, compared to some of our other models. To remove it, there's a little lock right here. You push down, let's see if I can do this with one hand, 
and you simply pull the battery out. There we go. There's our battery. So this is our compartment for the battery. Very simple. So swapping out the batteries on this model is extremely, extremely easy. So first of all, this is a battery specific to this aircraft. It is an all-in-one unit. So we no longer have to have multiple batteries on these larger aircraft. It's one single battery. This is a really, really cool. It's just one plug. You may also notice it's got four little pins in between here, and those are actually data pins. These batteries have a built-in battery management system, have a built-in level indicator, and this actually also doubles as the power switch. So you're able to power on the aircraft and set it up with the battery essentially turned off. It still powers the aircraft on, but it does not allow power to the motors. So it makes it really safe. When you set up the aircraft, you can be indoors or be very close to it and you have no risk of turning on the motors. The charger is extremely easy to use. In fact, it doesn't even require any buttons to be used. This is the battery butler. With this unit, you can plug four batteries in and it will sequence the charge automatically. So once one battery is finished, it will move on to the next and begin charging automatically. The process for charging is as simple as plugging in the battery. Because the battery has those data pins, it communicates with the charger and it can tell the charger exactly the voltage, the charge level, uh, and the amperage at which it needs to charge. It will even count the number of cycles on the battery. So it's very easy to manage your batteries and monitor the lifespan of the batteries. Another the option this drone has is the option for RTK GPS. Uh, what I'm showing you now is actually the case for the RTK ground station. This is a really, really nice system. This is the ground station base antenna. That's what it looks like on the bottom there. This is actually the Wi-Fi communication antenna for the base station. It connects just like this. These are the batteries for the antenna. This is the battery charger. We can actually charge both batteries simultaneously. Now if I pan over here, this is actually the tripod in which the antenna mounts to. It's a very, very secure tripod. You can actually drive the feet into the ground and stake it down. You have a lot of flexibility in how you can mount it. And then this can be mounted to the top of the tripod. Now you may be asking yourself, why do I need this device? Well, having this RTK base station allows the accuracy of the drone to be less than a centimeter. So for extremely accurate application, this is what you want. Again, this is very simple to set up. This actually communicates via Wi-Fi to your remote controller, which then sends the correction signal to the drone to allow for that fantastic accuracy. Thank you guys again for visiting us and checking out our brand new aircraft that we're again so excited to release very, very soon. For more information on pricing and release dates, feel free to visit our website at hse-uav.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Catch you guys next time.